Real or fake? Images generated by artificial intelligence have become a disinformation tool in the war between Israel and Hamas. Forget what you thought you knew. This is a remarkable update. We've uncovered how AI plays a major role in shaping narratives, even in wars. Explosive images and shocking news are all powered by artificial intelligence. It's become near impossible to avoid images of the carnage and devastation that has befallen Israel and the Palestinians living in the besieged Gaza Strip. So how is all of this possible? Let's dive in and reveal the unexpected twists in the digital battlefield of the Israel-Hamas war. In the tumultuous theater of the Israel-Hamas conflict, the unexpected and intriguing role of artificial intelligence, or AI, unfolds like a digital tapestry, weaving narratives that blur the lines between truth and manipulation. Picture a towering AI-generated billboard dominating the skyline of Tel Aviv, fervently championing the Israel Defense Forces, or IDF. This seemingly authentic display, however, is just the tip of the digital iceberg. Imagine an Israeli social media account disseminating fabricated images, portraying crowds enthusiastically cheering for the IDF, a manufactured reality designed to sway public sentiment. Delve deeper into this digital drama and you find an Israeli influencer wielding the power of AI to generate condemnations of Hamas, crafting a narrative that extends far beyond the human touch. As if scripted by a digital puppeteer, AI images emerge, depicting victims of Israel's bombardment of Gaza, a hauntingly realistic portrayal that blurs the boundaries between fact and fiction. These examples encapsulate the paradoxical dance between technology and misinformation, where the digital realm becomes a battleground for narratives shaped not only by human intent, but also by the enigmatic hand of artificial intelligence. The harm that artificial intelligence, or AI, can cause becomes sadly evident through the harsh reality of the recent revelation in the Israeli-Hamas conflict. Software giant Adobe, caught red-handed selling AI-generated images of the war, a morally reprehensible act directly profiting from the spread of misinformation. A quick search on Adobe stock, their image repository, reveals photorealistic depictions of explosions in urban environments that mirror the ongoing carnage in Gaza. Shockingly, these images include AI-generated compositions of a mother and child in a destroyed city and destroyed and burned buildings in Israel. What's more, these AI-generated images are not confined to Adobe's platform. They're circulating on the web, ready to mislead the unsuspecting public. Last year, the Photoshop titan announced it would host and sell people's images produced using machine learning tools via its Adobe stock library. Adobe gives those artists a 33% cut of the revenue from those pictures. Some news publishers are buying and using the pics in online articles as if they were real. But aren't we completely lost when not only the average person, but also powerful figures like news disseminators working for newspapers share fake information? However, as the war continues, more and more artificially generated images depicting events that never took place are surfacing on social media. This trend adds to the chaos and confusion surrounding the war, making it challenging for users in Israel and around the world to grasp a clear picture of what's happening in reality. This phenomenon would not have been possible if artificial intelligence tools such as Dolly, Midjourney, and Stable Diffusion hadn't been developed in the last two years. These tools are capable of creating entirely realistic images based on textual descriptions. Anyone can write a line such as, two Palestinian children covered in blood standing amid the rubble of a building in the Gaza Strip next to their mother's body, and the generator will do whatever they wish. Such image generators help businesses, organizations, and designers in creating material quickly and at a low cost. But they also enable malicious groups to create fake images of politicians, public figures, and celebrities. The specter of deepfakes is much, much more significant now. It doesn't take tens of thousands, it just takes a few, and then you've poisoned the well and everything becomes suspect. Hani Farid, a computer science professor at the University of California, Berkeley, told the New York Times. The top Google result for renowned realist artist Edward Hopper is now an AI fake, showcasing the growing visibility of AI-generated images online. But the stakes are even higher. The use of AI-generated images in the context of war is not just an affront to the livelihoods of photojournalists, it's a threat to truth itself. As we delve into the ethical quagmire, we must confront the undeniable risks posed by AI-generated images that divorce themselves from reality. In a conflict as sensitive as the Israel-Hamas war, the dangers are magnified. Misinformation, fueled by realistic yet fabricated images, not only misguides the public, 
but also jeopardizes the trust we place in the news. The words of Wael Abd al-Magid, a professor at the University of Southern California's School of Engineering, echo in our ears. Once the line between truth and fake is eroded, everything will become fake. We will not be able to believe anything. And that's exactly where the world is heading. Groups of people are at odds. The political debate to impose restrictions on the use of AI is more crucial than ever. If nothing changes, this is just the tip of the iceberg.